What's up witches? This is 90 Airmen and today is day 25 of the 31 days of terror challenge by Ethany. I'm a little bit behind so I'm redoing it. Um, trying to catch up. Today's question for day 25. Do you have any tarot self-care rituals that are only for your personal practice? Well, Let's start with the first and most important ritual that I started to do um, and it comes from Benabel's Holistic Tarot book and her advice was when you get a new deck and you want to connect with the deck, you can sleep with the deck under your pillow. So basically this way you connect with the deck's energy. That was in her book. And that's usually what I do with the decks that I have under my pillow. I Sometimes I have two, sometimes I have one because I have so many of them, right? Um, these decks are the most clear on answers. Because you connect with them and when you just, when you pull cards, it resonates with you even more, I'd say. So that's the first self-care or connecting with the deck practice that I do for myself. Also what I usually do for decks, especially for my personal use, I don't have access to the moonlight unfortunately because um, I'm downtown near a bunch of buildings so I just I don't even see the moon. But what I do is I make a sandwich where I put like black tourmaline, selenite, and I keep my deck like that, like a sandwich, for a couple of days, sort of to charge it and to remove all the negative vibes. So basically, that's my main practices. This is the Wild Unknown deck, by the way. And I don't do anything special with the tarot except for taking care of it and trying to connect with it. I have other self-care rituals not involving the tarot, like cleaning my energy and things like that. So I guess that's about it for day 25. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.